Welcome back. Still to come, an insight into living with David Hasselhoff. Don't miss his daughter Haley. a little bit later. First, though, if you are looking for something a bit different to do this weekend, this could be just for you. As the UK's number one free running team take to the stage this summer, performing jaw-dropping stunts and urban acrobatics, presenter Zoe Hardman caught up with them to find out more. that taking a jog on the weekend is a healthy way to spend a sunny spring morning. But I think these guys might be taking it a little too far. Some call this free running while others call it parkour, but whatever it's called, I love it. <laughs> Immortalised in films like Prince of Persia and Jump London, free running has been around for as long as humans have needed to be somewhere fast or escape something quickly. But these days, teams like Three Run have made it into more of an art form than a necessity. So what is the difference between parkour and free running? Parkour is literally going from A to B the most efficient way. Using any obstacle you can, whether it's big or small. Whereas free running, it's the same thing, but you can attach flips, acrobatic movement. With so many hard surfaces, you'd think a cityscape would be the last place an acrobatic art form would take off. But that's the whole point. The city is your playground. Um, it's just it's, it's, it's amazing to us anyway. Um, places like London um, is, is kind of an ideal situation where you've got um, high jumps, low jumps, rails. It, it's, it's limitless, to be honest with you. All this is pretty hard on the body, but these lads make sure they land softly. In terms of landing, uh, it's, it's kind of just sort of absorbing the impact, ultimately. Um, so rolling correctly. Um, as, you, as you're landing, you're bending your knees and then just rolling over the side rather than rolling directly over uh, your spine as a gymnast would. And it's the gymnastic quality that makes this such a visual feast for spectators, which is why they've decided to bring it to the stage. A first for this exciting sport. So you're here to do a show. Tell me about it. Um, well, it's the first free runner show of its kind, so it's quite unique in itself. And uh, we're basically performing at the Underbully self match. Uh, we're doing it through eight weeks in London, then we're moving on to Edinburgh, so it's quite a massive tour. So expect spectacular jumps, martial arts inspired moves and a load of hardcore urban edginess in the show. But for those that aren't familiar with the sport, let's break down some of the manoeuvres. Uh, well I guess the most fundamental uh, move in parkour for us is the parkour roll. And basically that's the roll you do after you do a big jump or something and it takes out all the, all the force and shock. And the corkscrew is definitely trickier than it looks. You have to drive your leg round like a J step. Right. over your shoulder, pull your arms up and then freeze it to That sounds really hard. <laughs> they love being upside down, so the front flips add that touch of drama. That involves like running, you jump, uh, you throw your arms up, then you sort of throw your hips back, you tuck forward and you just go over and do a front flip. In a sport where so much time is spent airborne, the old adage of leaving it to the professionals certainly rings true. But beginners may need a more hands-on approach. Guys, can you put me down now, please? Unbelievable. Uh, thank you very much, Zoe. For further information on how you can see the free run team in action, have a look at our website, itv.com forward slash this morning. Yeah, competition time now.